Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this series of do-it-yourself study kit for Cisco Unified uh, Customer Voice Portal deployment, or aka CVP deployment, I'm going to discuss the native component in Chapter 2. Now, the native components in, in CVP involves uh, call server, VXML server, media server, and call studio reporting and operation console. Now, these are the, uh, the five, uh, six different servers or services that are working together to provide a complete CVP solutions. Now, each component communicate with other component using various uh, uh, method. For example, you got a CVP server and the call server will communicate using the ORM module. Uh, operation console, which is basically the uh, application uh, server that manage provide the management uh, tool to administer and deploy your CVP solutions. So that's where the Tomcat and operation subsystem reside. It will communicate with the call server using the ORM modules of each uh, each of these services. Now, the call server, for example, will communicate with SIP proxy using the SIP service. It will also use a SIP service to communicate with the call manager and as well as egress or ingress gateway. Now, see, uh, call server itself has uh, three, uh, three different uh, services, IVR service, ICM service, SIP service. Now, we are, I already explained to you about the SIP service, but whenever CVP needs to communicate with ICM or contact center enterprise, it will use the ICM service for that. Whenever call server needs to communicate with VXML server uh, or VXML, uh, sorry, VXML so, um, server gateway, it will use the VX IVR service for that. Now, Call Studio, which is the development tool, will communicate with VXML server to deploy the applications that you develop. Now, the reporting server can be managed from the ORM. Uh, sorry, reporting server communicated with the operation console using the ORM module and reporting server will communicate with call server using the message bus. So these are, uh, this is how the component wor are working together behind the screen. Now CVP, uh, as we talked about in the previous slide, is that the CVP server consists of three combined server that works together. Call server, VXML server and media server. These are the uh, out of the six uh, core component. These are the three component that work together known as CVP server. Now the CVP call control service, which is often known as call server as well, can support uh, support ICM, IVR, SIP services. Now H.323 is no longer supported or can, uh, is only there for backward incompatibility. Now, IVR, SIP, and ICM service will communicate with one another over a message bus. As the call arrive uh, to the call server via the SIP service, based on whether it's an existing call or a new call, a different action will take place. Now, the call control service, which is a, a, a Windows service that are uh, part of your Windows uh, services, you can execute, uh, restart the service or start the service just like any normal Windows services. VXML server, which uh, provide a voice browser on the Cisco iOS gateway, can initiate or send a request to VXML server to execute a particular VXML application. Now, the VXML server usually contain a Tomcat or WebSphere application server, which will deliver VXML document via the HTTP protocol. Now, obviously, you will create your application using Call Studio, upload that application to VXML server. VXML server will, uh, will obviously, it basically has some sort of engine where the application will be uh, stored. Then, a request from the I, uh, Cisco iOS gateway will come into the VXML server to execute the script that you have developed using the HTTP protocol. A VXML server is basically 
execute advanced IVR based application by exchanging VXML page or document with VXML gateways built in voice browser. It runs within uh, J Java 2 Enterprise Edition or J2EE application server environment as such as Tomcat. Now you can create all custom built or just standard J2EE component to interact with your uh, back end services or host um, you know for enhancing your application to even more advanced level applications are written using call studio and are deployed to the vxml server for further execution now that application that you deploy will be then um, what we call browse by the cisco ios gateway where the instruction will come from the cvp uh, call server itself now applications are invoked on as needed basis by special micro application which must be executed from within the UCCE routing script. Now you can also deploy in, uh, the CVP VXML server as a standalone configuration that does not require ICM component at all. Now application are, are invoked as a direct result of a call arriving on the VXML gateway mapping a local dial pair which has an application that kind of triggers the HTTP request to the VXML server. Now the reporting server is where the Informex database are stored for uh, call detail recording. You can uh, use the reporting server to generate a report using the Cisco Unified Cent Intelligence Center. Now the reporting server uh, basically receive report event from SIP, IVR, or VXML service within the CVP uh, modules. Now reporting server runs on Windows Server, which hosts the IBM Informix database. It provides consolidated re uh, historical reporting uh, for distributed service deployment. The database schema is specified by the CVP product and is available to customer for further custom creating uh, creation of reports. It's, it does receive the data from IP, IVR service, SIP service if it is used or VXML server. Now the standalone VXML server deployment, uh, you need at least one call server that is needed for every reporting server that you have. Now, the reporting server must be local in the same local area network as the call server or VXML. The WAN is not supported between the reporting server and call server and VXML server. And a multiple reporting server can be deployed in a multiple location as long as each, on, what on, each one of those locations has their own call server or VXML servers. Now the media server is very very simple web server. It's a web server that runs IIS or Apache that hosts all your audio files, external VXML document, or external ASR grammar files. Now you can use IIS web server or Apache. Now it is not recommended to use Tomcat for this. For this. Media server functionality is also included in a, in a cache engine as well. Now, if you're using Cisco iOS Gateway, you can configure the gateway as a local cache engine so that uh, once the first file is executed, let's, let's say you want to extract the welcome uh, prompt. Well, first time it contacts the media server for the welcome prompt, but as the router requests that file, it will then keep that file into the memory as a cache. So that the subsequent call that comes in for that file, it is actually invoked from the router rather than calling the media server. Cisco uh, Unify uh, CVP does not support the use of Tomcat as a media server. The media server can be deployed in a simplex operation with the one server or can be redundant by having a duplex environment. You can run multiple uh, media server as a load uh, behind a load balancer. So, uh, so that it can provide high availability. Now, VXML Gateway will cache the web files it retrieved from the media server so that uh, sometime it may need to refresh. Uh, so the subsequent the call that comes in for the same file will be uh, in, uh, used from the flash, uh, the cache in the router as opposed to 
calling the media server for that. Now, if you do upload a new version of the audio file, let's say in the, in the media server, then it may not update the cache right away until the cache timer expires. So in that case, you may need to uh, reload that manually. Now, media ser uh, server does encounter low traffic from CPP because it's just basically the name of the file and transferring the file. Operation console, which is Windows server that provides console for a browser-based administration and configuration for all CVP component. It is a required component in all CVP deployment and you must have at least one operation console. Now, well, you can only have one operation console, but you can manage hundreds of CVP server from that same console. It's in fact a dashboard from which CVP servers are deployed must be configured within a map of the uh, map of the deploy solution network it has a standard tool uh, to back up both network map as well as configuration information locally in that server now operation console does provide options to display modify the network mapping it has two views uh, offline and online so runtime view which is your online view that shows you all the configuration parameter component that you use them offline views are the status of all the configuration view that are stored it allows you to configure the parameter to be updated or pre-configured even when the target component is not online or running if the target server is online you can apply the configuration settings to that server settings become active when the server services also come online it backs up uh, configuration database regularly or whatever whenever there's a change that are made now operation console is a GUI base once you install you will log into your operation console from the desktop and this is what it's supposed to look like something similar to that call studio which is basically a script editor allows you to create or develop your e script based on Eclipse framework provides a drag and drop graphical user uh, editing features now call studio also provide options to insert your own custom or vendor supplied plugin for further enhancing your application or uh, development tool call studio basically is an offline tool only interaction with the vxml server is used when you are ready to deploy or compile the application call studio is licensed to your mac address so the core component of CVP, call server, VXML, media server, reporting server, operation console, and call studio. Now, call server is where your SIP service, ICM service, and IVR service are involved. So SIP service is used to communicate with SIP-based device, such as call manager, ingress gateway, egress gateway, and SIP proxy server. VXML server will communicate with the call studio as well as VXML uh, iOS uh, gateway. Media server, this is where your prompt files are stored, document files are stored, uh, sorry, uh, grammar files are stored, as well as speech files. A reporting server for reporting purposes. Operation console is for day-to-day um, -day management of your CVP. You can only, a CVP server can only be managed by one operation console server. You cannot have multiple operation console managing the same CVP server. Call Studio is a, a development tool for you to develop it offline and connect to the online server VXML only when you need to compile it and test your script. All right, so that's pretty much it for this chapter. Um, again, repeat this chapter as much as possible. Take a note. As you take a note, you will uh, reinforce your learning and repeat that at least 10 to 15 times and you will see that these big things becomes your second nature all right so that's it for this chapter i'll see you in the next